Hi, I was recently asked on Quora about if I agree with the idea of spanking and hitting children. Let us first define the idea of what I call punishment. Punishment includes spanking, hitting, name calling, and even making mean faces at your children. All of those actions bring the same results. The result is an emotional and possibly even a physical pain. We know what those emotion and that physical pain can bring. And that is the reason why parents are very quick to use the idea of punishment because it brings immediate results. And we also believe that you're teaching the child a lesson that you want him to really learn. But let's examine for a moment what I call parenting mission statement. Our mission statement is that a parent's job is to connect the child to positive behavior and actions that he will do for the rest of his life, even when you're not around. So now, if we would understand that idea more in depth, we would look at punishment in a different light. There are three major problems that I see in the idea of punishment and using it to try to get our children to take positive action. Number one is negative conditioning. Negative conditioning was researched by a man named Pavlov. Pavlov took his dogs and he went and fed them at the same time that he rang a bell. Now what happened, you can almost guess. He would just ring his bell and the dogs would all understand that they're about to be fed. And in fact, the dogs in the future started to even salivate every time the bell rang. The scientists tell us that if you connect two things that are totally unrelated, the ringing of the bell and the feeding of the dog, ultimately it will be connected in the, in the animal or the human's subconscious. If we take this back to our children, we clearly understand every time we do something negative, what will ultimately be the result? If we do punishment to the child, we will connect the hard feelings that we have done towards the child, the faces, the mean lines, whatever it is that makes the child feel emotional or physical pain. And we will connect it with the very action that we so much want the child to continue to do for the rest of their life. Number two is a, even a worse problem that can be the result of doing punishment on children consistently. That is how the relationship between the parent and the child are affected. A child and a parent, they're, 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 the relationship should be of love and warmth. There is a point of authority that I've discussed in our earlier videos and a point of showing the child that there is authority and they need to listen. But in general, the feeling between a child and a parent has to be a feeling of warmth and love. And punishment many times undermines and destroys that feeling. I have dealt with so many families and children who over so long they've been punished that what happens, the child very, comes to the point where they won't listen to anything their parent has to say. Their parents just say a word and it goes in one ear and out the other ear because they become so disgusted and they become such a negative feeling towards what their parents have to say. But the third one, and that one is hard for me to smile about, that is the worst of all three. That is when the child is so used to punishment and the whole relationship of the child and the parent is around the idea of punishment, the child will eventually find comfort in being punished. They will eventually find that the only connection that they have with their parent is when they're criticized, hurt, or punished. And even later in their life, they will desire in the deep recesses of their mind to be criticized or hurt by their parents, by words, by, by feelings that their parents say towards them. So now let's turn back to why punishment really is negative. We've seen these three things, negative conditioning, undermining the relationship with the parent, and ultimately causing the child to even enjoy punishment, all three of them surely are just the opposite of what our mission statement is, which is to connect the child in a positive way, in a way that they will do the actions positively for the rest of their life. So once again, thank you for all joining us on our community of raising amazing children, raising amazing kids, and we're here to answer your questions. So please, in the comments or in the messenger, you can message me and send your questions or comments. And please, like many of the other videos that you have done, share the videos with others, and thank you for listening. Goodbye.